Hello. Today we're talking about Leslie Marmon Silco. She's also known as the Laguna Woman. She was born on March 5th, 1948 in Albuquerque, New Mexico. She grew up in grew up surrounding herself with her village and all the stories that came out of it. She was extremely hungry for the information coming out from the stories and how those people kept their history alive by doing the storytelling. She wanted to know all about the stories and knowledge that she could get and learn because she believed that people had to tell their stories to keep their history alive and their identity alive. It was a Carisan oral tradition that her father's people used storytelling to share the lives of his people and their history. Silco grew up on the Marmon trading post in the village of Old Laguna, around it's about 50 miles outside of Albuquerque. She uses the area a lot in her writings, um, especially in Yellow Woman and Coquin Naka, at least part of the river, the Rio G San Jose. She uses that as a contact point for the people in her fictional character, for her fictional characters in her stories. Silco is not only known for her short stories, but she's also known for poetry and her novels that she's written. She's also worked on a screenplay. I am so fascinated by the way she writes and how passionate she is about her life in New Mexico. She shows everything that she writes. She shows that passion in everything that she writes. In her novel, Almanac of the Dead, she has her main character, Sterling, as a, is a native of Laguna. Silco is also known for her poetry. Besides writing, Silco received her BA with honors from the University of New Mexico in 1969. She also taught as a professor with the university in, or she, she taught as a professor at the University in Arizona in Tucson and had an association with the, the University of New Mexico in Albuquerque and the Navajo Community College in Tassel, Arizona. She is currently employed by U of A in Tucson and is working on a screenplay for public television.